Hi folks, thanks for joining me again today. Um, I've got a winter scene for you with a sort of alizarin crimson hint in the sky and, and foreground. So let me show the colours I've used for this one. So it's just the four colours. We've used ultramarine, alizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber. Most of it done with a large hike, a little flat brush there and a number three rigger. Right then, let's get it started with a bit of water. Not too much, just enough. Stop it doing all crinkly. And then I'm thinking just a bit of crimson in the sky. Something like that. Bring that down. Something like that. And then A bit carried away there. I'll just take most of that off. Now I want, I'm just going to use the four colours crimson, sienna, burnt umber, and ultramarine. And I'm just going to start suggesting a few little things. Living, living up the hill. So we're on a bit, just a bit of a slope there. And I'll go over this again in a bit when it's a little bit drier, just to make it a little bit stronger. Start off with the uh, with these, and then hang on. Always like to have a bigger one somewhere, one that dominates. Don't have more the same. It just looks boring. Few little things going up, Few little trees and things in the background. Just a quick blast. I'll do, just to speed you up slightly, just so I can put in another layer over the top of it. It's not bone dry, but it's dry enough to take another, la another layer of paint. See what I mean? Look. See how it's going on nice and strong there. Just bring that down, something like so. Again, just flip that up. And you can see now it's Got on a lot stronger. Um, back to this rigger brush, and I've got a big tree up there. Just flicking away. Something like that. Um, I'm going to stick. Oh, I can't resist, you're going to have another one, I'm going to stick another one here, another big one, just flick, 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 this one's going to go a little bit higher, don't want it the same size. The trunk's sort of lost there amongst, amongst all that, and then in front of there, get a big card, I want a big, big cabin, big one. Bigger than what I've done in recent paintings. So it's straight away though, that's that's I've lost the scale slightly. Slightly bigger than what I intended. Um, let's just get this flat against the board. I'll just do a little bit more scraping. So Always nice to do a few little, just flicking up and a few fence posts here and there. Don't think about it too much, just whack them in. I uh, also like to do maybe a few telegraph poles. Something like that. Just a little bit of detail here and there. Little 
more darks in front. Just adding to the layers. Um, Sure, what that is like little, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they are. Um, let's change to a lighter colour. So, if I just take a little bit of that sienna. just get your fingers in as well, and just scuff it all up, and a bit of this and a bit of that. Bit of all the colours, and I'm thinking we're sort of just layering, just working out that path, the path on this side. Quite a, quite a dry brush. I'm worried where the ears are going. Just taking a little bit of that, a little bit of those two in there, and then just the rigger, bit of brown, bit of blue, just a general dark mix. And after I'll just stick four fence posts in. I do like a, a few fence posts. Let's just stick a few on this side as well. A bit stronger there. A bit darker down there. Quick dry. darker down there. Well, I'm going to just block in that building, just darken the sides just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. I'll just Sort of block this in. Let's just stick a little chimney on the top. 
Now I need, I need our little man. Um, so he's, he's, he's going to be just walking up this hill. Uh, I think I need a new rigger brush. This is just the. Uh, Doesn't quite behave how I'm expecting it to. Right then, a few shadows. Just need to make sure it's dry first. I'm just going to mix a bit of, well, I'm just going to mix all the colours together, really. Predominantly the brown and the blue. So I'm just looking for a sort of bluey, grey type of colour, ultimately. But enough water in there so I can see underneath. So it's, it's transparent. So just enough. Something like that. Um, so that's cutting straight across the foreground there. Mm. I'll just see if that's being stupid painting that with that. Just taking that same colour and pulling the shadows from the man and the dog just across there. Uh, I'm also going to go across some of these fence posts. going to sign this one now and call this one done. So we can sign this one in the corner. Okay. Yeah, this brush is uh, starting to get on my nerves a bit. I can't even... Right, let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting in the mount. They always look better in the mount, I think. So if we go and have a closer look at it. So we had a very, very simple sky, but you can see it's got a sort of, sort of light crimson -y sort of look in the sky and then reflected some of that colour in that path below. If we look along the horizon line, starting we've got the, like a big, it's almost like a barn. Um, 
just scraped in with the card and then we've got a few trees and bushes and things in the background various different layers and I was also doing a lot of scraping with the card it says yes telegraph poles and fence posts and all sorts of things going on amongst the darks there just by the sort of edge of the snow and our little man there trudging up the hill along this big path lane country lane with big foreground shadows usual sort of fence posts amongst all the hedges you can see like little shadows cast from the, the individual posts as well all these little details just help give that extra sense of light always find these sorts of things that will generally turn out better when I don't really think about them just just whack them in and, and just let them be don't fiddle around with them faff about you can see the trees there see that one's faded away so it makes it look a little bit more distant compared to this one that's just beyond the barn here it's a little bit stronger I could have done that a little bit stronger still actually thinking about it and then the temptations to paint over all this white snow but it's always best just just leave it alone it always it look better the more the more you leave it alone the better it'll look give it that sort of nice fresh blanket snow look that's it for this one thanks as always for watching many thanks to all the patrons for your support if you're not a patron do please consider joining me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Lots more videos over there. Um, there's a community gallery as well where you can all post your work and give each other feedback. So if you've got any questions, please ask. Keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.